Hello, I'm Captain Iceblock. My hero pool consists of all the heroes named Storm Spirit and Hero Spirit you, guides on Storm, other heroes, lanes, mechanics, and everything in between. I also stream, coach, and analyze your replays. To support the content, you can get one of those services or just buy me a cup of coffee on Patreon. And with all that said, let's go. Storm clouds are gathering! In the Learning the Gather series, we will take a hero that I play like once or twice a month and look at the game to see what we did good, what we did bad, and what's the route for improvement. Today, we're learning Mirana. Let's begin. I had my pick fairly late into the match, and I knew I was going against Ursa with either Dazzle or Crystal Maiden. Any combination of those heroes means death to any shorter range hero, so my offlaner had to be someone long range, or someone that can gain farm without risking approaching the lane. Mirana fits both of those. Now, Mirana's right click pretty closely matches Ursa's damage, if he is denying, and I could probably contest slash his just fine, but again, I am solo, and any extended stay at the lane would cost me both consumables and potential wasted farm by skirmishing with the support. With that in mind, I believe my laning would best be a mix between staying in the lane as long as Ursa is solo and rotating to the jungle as soon as the support is forced to return. I get extra tangos to survive and extra harassment a solo offlane faces, and a set of clarities for walking between the lane and the jungle. Oh, spoil that shot! By killing enemies ranged creep first, not only am I securing the most essential golden experience gain, but by that I am also steadily pushing the lane, pinning Ursa near his tower. This gives me much more freedom to walk around the map, extends the time clarity stay on, and I also have more angle options to hit that arrow. You have no right! From the enemy support's perspective, Maiden has to stay in the lane and prevent Mirana from clearing the wave with her Star Storm. Except Mirana just left and now Maiden is just soaking experience in an empty lane, so she goes to farm some camps herself. Except Mirana has just returned and is free farming against Sola Ursa, so Maiden has to get back to harassing, except Mirana has already left. This constant ping-ponging of the enemy supports creates a tough spot for them to leave the lane to roam, and Mirana quite successfully manages to stay relevant in a 1 vs 2 situation. What this accomplishes is it allows our own trial lane to completely take over their lane, dumpster their opponents, and take over the game. Now let's talk mistakes, and there is quite a few things I'd like to do better given the same situation again. 6 tangos was a bit too much to mitigate early game harassment. By staying away and only approaching the lane when Ursa is solo, Mirana is in no real danger and the second set of tangos could have been swapped for a clarity or mango. I also completely disregarded Crystal Maiden's jungling potential. 
What I should have done is warded behind the tower, giving myself vision under small and big camps, and either kill Maiden's target creeps or harass her while she's jungling, considering Mirano's superior stats and skill set. I also wasn't utilizing Starstorm as much as I should have. Getting creeps low, but not low enough to be denied, and finishing an entire wave at once with a spell is a great way to speed up rotations between farm spots. And with that said, the laning phase is over. Unfortunately, our tri lane lost to their dual lane, our mid lane random got hard countered, and the enemies used that advantage to take over the game. This concludes our experiences with Mirana. Thank you for watching, good luck! Radiant's middle tower is under attack. beast to your cause you have already lost <laughs> radiance top tower is under attack radiance top tower has fallen Middle tower has fallen. Don't worry. Ah, quite 